to be talking about something that I have a little bit of, of experience with. Okay, dirt bikes and new models of vehicles, right? So Triumph and Ducati making dirt bikes. Let me rephrase that or say that again. Triumph and Ducati making dirt bikes specifically made for off-road only like my dirt bike. It started with gas gas and beta being two companies that kind of came up out of nowhere. And also came up with Sherco. Sherco was another company that came up out of nowhere making dirt bikes. Right? Now KTM owns Husqvarna and Gas Gas. And Beta is an Italian brand. And Sherco, I think Sweden or something, I don't know. Now Triumph and Ducati. Is it Ducati? Yeah. Another Italian brand. And an England brand coming up with dirt bikes. Now, here's the thing. Because they're coming out with dirt bikes, I'm going to give you a piece of advice when it comes to motorcycles and cars that you may or may not know, but you never know. Never buy the first three model years of any new model maker model vehicle whether it's a ducati a uh the triumph ktm yamaha honda kawasaki suzuki beta bmw mercedes fords chevys dodge uh mazdas lincoln's cadillacs gmc doesn't matter whenever a brand new model comes out this might have been true like maybe 10 years ago or more where you never buy the first a new model for the first three years until they work the bugs out because that's where a lot of your lemon law bullshit comes into play as far as i know where you buy a new car and it's constantly going in the shop because it's a new model and they don't know what the bugs are for this model are yet and then your car is constantly going in there, so you gotta sell the car back to the freaking dealership for a lemon law thing. And then it puts a bad taste in your mouth for that particular make, model, or brand of car, or whatever it is, right? Well, you can't blame the car manufacturer for a brand new model that they've never had before. They come out with it because that's part of growing as a company. You get rid of an old, model that doesn't sell anymore or never really did well and you create a new model to maybe replace it or you just you know whatever but there's plenty of cars i can give an example to and i'm not trying to give those examples just because i don't want anybody to have a problem with me but in my opinion the three things that i would never do are not three things I would, huh? And yeah, that's one of those things that I would not, I would not do is I would not buy a new model in the first three years, minimum, maybe five, maybe more, maybe less, whatever, but at least three for sure, right? Now, would I ever buy a Triumph or a Ducati dirt bike? I don't know. I Just because they're higher-end bikes doesn't mean I'm going to run after them. Or want to go get one of them. I mean, unless if they're very similar to KTM. And they kind of work with KTM a little bit on their bikes. Then maybe. You know, where you can kind of get away with buying a KTM part for the Ducati or Triumph or you can buy a Triumph uh, part for a Ducati. Well, you know what I'm saying? If some of the parts are interchangeable with KTM or whatever, you know, like wheels or uh, 
foot pegs or you know engine things or plastics or whatever you know what i'm saying but i'm not hating on triumph or ducati for making dirt bikes i'm not hating on it it's just different because you know you know we had i know ktm or ducati had the hyper motard and the super motard or whatever the hell it is and triumph's always made you know nice high-end bikes kind of like bmw so if, to see both of them come out with dirt bikes it's definitely a fresh change to the off-road community i like seeing them add dirt bikes to the market i hope they do well with it i really do and honestly hopefully ducati's bikes and like if ducati and triumph actually make these dirt bikes and mass produce them i hope they don't have massive problems and you know hopefully they can actually get some intel from people like ktm husqvarna yamaha honda kawasaki and K, uh Suzuki and all them to help kind of get them on the right path in order to build a quality bike that won't have problems because i would like to see them actually succeed with the off-road world because we haven't really had a whole lot of new branding come out with cars trucks suvs and motorcycles you know it's been basically the same for like the last 50 years 60 years honda's always been around yamaha kawasaki suzuki triumph you know but a lot of these you know they've stuck in that there's only so much you can do you know what i'm saying so to see Sherco come out a few years ago see beta come out a few years ago see gas gas come out a few years ago that was pretty cool now seeing triumph and ducati coming out with a specific off-road dirt bike that's specifically for off-road only it's pretty interesting it's pretty cool and i you know if I ever get to ride a Ducati or a Triumph dirt bike, you know, Triumph and Ducati, if you happen to see this, I'm a no-name guy on YouTube. But if you want somebody like me who's been riding dirt bikes for 22 plus years and give you my honest, non-biased opinion about how it handles, how the power, the weight, and all that stuff, hit me up. I'll give you my honest opinion and will tell you where you need to, what you can do better on and, you know, whatever. Anyways, love y'all. Deuces, y'all.